Hi, it's Alex here from Frog Lane Studio, where we provide free hacks, hints, tips, and tricks to ease your hobby woes. If you're new here, make sure you go ahead and click that subscribe button. And if you want to check out any of the other content we do, links, as always, are just down below. Now, you know when you want to try something just a little bit different. I recently got my hands on the brand new Elegoo Mars 2 Pro, and as my very first 3D printed model, I thought, what better? than the very first model I ever painted. So sit back, relax, enjoy, and I'll see you on the other side. Now orcs have always been my first love ever since my friend got the second edition box set. He wanted the Space Marines, obviously, which left the orcs for me to play with. But I was happy as an orc in blood. And ever since then, my veins have run pure green for these orcs. I have painted and collected hundreds, if not thousands of these guys, but I've never printed one. Now I am no expert and I'm definitely not sponsored by Elegoo. That being said, this couldn't have been easier to do. I found the model on Thingiverse, downloaded it, put it into Chitu Box, which is Elegoo's free software. They did all of the support struts for me and then stuck it onto print. Eight hours later, we get this bad boy. Now I'm using water soluble resin here, but you still need to use gloves. This stuff is nasty and if you get it on your skin, you need to wash it off straight away. That being said though, it runs exactly the same as normal resin. So you can just wash it and cure it in exactly the same way you would do normally. I use the Elegoo Mercury washing it and curing station because it just saves on time. And I've got to be honest, it's brilliant. <laughs> Now I knew that you guys would crucify me in the comments if I didn't drill out these bolters. So keyboard warriors, this is for you. I wanted this guy to have a round base similar to the original Grot. This is actually one of the Warhammer biking bases that I'm using here. And I have to say, it's a pretty good match. So once all the assembly was done, it was onto the painting. I originally gave this guy an undercoat of gray spray. I kind of wish I'd done it from black though, because that's what the original model was done. So I had to go back through and re-airbrush a base coat over the top for the black. But once that was done, I then deliberated on whether to paint him exactly the same as the original Grot or to paint it to the best of my abilities. And what I inevitably ended up deciding was rather than going for an exact copy, to use exactly the same color scheme, but then to paint it up to the best of my abilities. I've got a confession as well to make. Despite collecting orcs for 30 years, this is actually the very first grot I will have ever fully finished painting. Not to a high standard, just to any standard at all. So Gork, Mork, I'm sorry, but I'm making up for it now with the Giga Grot. Now, Orc Skin has gone through several different iterations over the years, from that bright day glow skin that we can see on these 90s Orcs here, which was my personal favorite, right the way through then to the early noughties when you had this grim dark brooding beast of an orc right the way through up into the modern day orcs that we see now which has this really creamy green going on to it it's not too dark not too light it's very much kind of in the middle there but for myself personally despite these looking good don't get me wrong my heart still hankers for those 90s orcs that bright day glow skin and so for myself i couldn't resist Going back to this, I could still remember that color scheme now. The Dark Angels through to that goblin green, right the way up to striking scorpion green and then finishing it off with sunburst yellow. So that is the color scheme that I'm gonna be following on my Gretchen. 
Now, unfortunately, you cannot get those colors anymore for love nor money. Trust me, I've tried. So instead of that, we have to be creative. Now, for the Dark Angel screen, I used Caliban Green. That was what I used for the base and then moved on to Warpstone Glow. From there, you can see me here now using Moot Green. And Moot Green mixed in with a little bit of Ural Yellow. This is that substitute for the Scorpion Green and the Sunburst Yellow. And it's what gives these orcs that really bright day glow look. But it's really just a case of taking it slow and steady, lots of thin layers and building up those colors. You can use this on your normal orcs if you want, but uh, I'm using it for this Giga Grot here. You really only want to be applying that sunburst yellow though, just at the final portions, right on the tippy tops of the highlights, the knuckles, the edges of the ears, the lips and the eyes. Once I'd finished the skin, there were just a couple of other finishing touches. The cloth and the eyes, I went ahead and put little black dots into the eyes just to give it that final finished look. I'm super happy with the way this guy turned out and I'm really proud that this was actually my last finished model. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. There we go then guys, that's how I went about creating and painting this Giga Grot, the very first Gretchen model I have ever painted. If you like what we're doing here, go ahead, click that subscribe, like the video, comment below what you'd like to see next. If you'd like to help further, the channel does have a Patreon page, links to which are just down below. I literally could not do these videos without the love and support of the Frog Lane family. So thank you to all of you guys. Thanks to you guys as well for watching. Stay safe, keep hobbying, and may your veins always run green.